Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Really excited for today's video. Beer's courtesy Hot Butcher for the world. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, and this is Sunrise over Northerly Island. Uh, Pacific, I, I'm sorry, Pacific Sunrise Hopped India Pale Ale, 6.25% ABV. Let's get into it. Kind of in the mood for something a little lower ABV. You know, I've been drinking some big, some pretty big beers lately, so definitely in the mood for this. See a little, little bit of dirty glass for the bottom. See big chunk of something floating in there, some sort of sediment. Uh, definitely a nice yellow color. Uh, a, a pretty like thick yellow. Uh, maybe you know some orange mixed in, but it's, it's primarily yellow. The head a little off white, almost like approaching that bone kind of color um compact bubbles for sure i got the proper glassware and it's red and green for christmas time so uh, i have another one that's black and um, purple and i thought you know wait it's christmas time i should use this glass but yeah definitely a beautiful looking hazy new england style ipa let's get into the aroma hmm That is super familiar, but not something I get a lot in beer. What is that? Well, okay, here's what I do get that I can easily identify. Strawberry fruit roll up, like really big. So like you're getting like this citric acid thing, you're getting this sweetness, you're getting confectionery strawberry. Um, or like at the store, like I'll see, sometimes in the bulk section, depending on what grocery store I'm at, um, like these, uh, they're just dried strawberries, but they're still a little gummy when you eat them. Um, it, it very much smells like that. A kiss of this pine mint thing. I get some pineapple. But yeah, I'm, I'm dancing around this thing that's really familiar that I'm not placing yet. A little bit of lychee. There's some tropical, man. This is, it smells fantastic, but it's frustrating because there's this other thing that I'm just not pulling. Um, see about the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Hot Butcher. Nice bitterness. Great level of bitterness. A lot of orange zest. I got that, that citric acid thing in the aroma, not straight orange. The taste, I get some nice orange, very vibrant because of the zestiness. It does have a nice mouthfeel. It's definitely not over, it's not overly done. Um, it, it, it's, it's there, but like, it's very drinkable. It's like easy to drink, but also there's a little bit of heft to it. Um, the bitterness throughout, which I really appreciate. You know, they're calling it an IPA. It definitely drinks like an IPA, so I like that as well. I get, um, crap, I just had it. Yeah, I get that somewhere in, in the, in a, in a world where you can crossbreed a bunch of things. Mint, green tea, I don't know why it's still sticking. Pine, soft, dank. It's like this hybrid of all those things together. Back to the fruit note, does have more generic tropical in the taste than I was, I, was, I felt like I was pulling out some you know unique and individual things in the aroma. The taste for me is a little bit more all of the things together. Um, so kind of, yeah, like this generic tropical, but it does have that nice citrus uh, in, in way of orange, mostly zest. Lemon drops. It's those, yeah, hard, hard candy lemon, not lemon heads, hard candy lemon 
that have like a little bit of confectionery sugar on the outside. Um, that was that was the aroma and in the taste. So what they have to say about it. Fresh citrus. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You have to mention citrus, and I guess yeah, it's orange and lemon. Fair enough. Tangy berry. I mean, I got that berry thing, that strawberry thing, the aroma. Not as much in the taste. Juicy clementine, so different kind of orange. Yeah, fair enough. I think because this is drinking like an IPA and has that bitterness, I'm not thinking like juicy clement. Right, that's what's a juicy clementine. Yeah, like it, it's it drinks more like a beer than juice to me. You know, like a lot of these, you know, especially like the double IPAs to me anyway. A lot of them, it's like uh, fruit first then the beer characteristics or i think this has a lot of the beer characteristics up front and then it's like oh yeah through that bitterness i am getting some nice fruit elements so for me i i, I get clementines it's just i wouldn't think juicy in terms of the aroma fair enough but the taste i i wouldn't be using the word juicy too many times um really good beer drinks like I wanted it to in terms of that bitterness, the mouthfeel being there but not overly done, having some nice citrus and then some other elements going on for sure. Um, yeah, this, this, is, this is a very pleasant experience. It's also pretty old. At the at time of review, it's almost two months old. And like, I, I know I'm a broken record and a lot of people know what I'm gonna say and they're probably stop, you know, they're, they're ending the video. But like, if a brewery makes these well, this style, I think, it can last a lot longer than people think it can and they give back sometimes the breweries you know release them super fresh and it's actually like not that good the first week or so it's like you gotta let them sit and, and, and uh you know get rid of some of that greenness and stuff in the can but anyway that's me on my soapbox do you agree if you agree let me know in the comment section below if you disagree just hit the thumbs up and move on with your life um but anyway, yeah, what are your thoughts? Seriously, in all seriousness, what are your thoughts? Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. There's no hype beer reviews of both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.